Autumn is always my favorite season. It's the first season other than the summer that I experienced after living in a tropical country for 21 years, making it the most memorable trip of all time when we went to South Korea with my parents last November 17, 2017. My dream came true from my television to the real world. Ever since then, it's always been my favorite time of the year and the most awaited one. Since the new season is here, it's best to welcome the new season with a clean and cozy apartment. It's time for a reset, but sometimes resets don't actually go as planned. Hey Siri, call Arlen. Calling Arlen. Naano ko sa bahay? What? Where? Happy Saturday and welcome back to another episode of Life in Canada series. So today is Saturday and today is our day off. Uh, technically it's a day off but it wasn't for Arlen. <laughs> 
because since he's switching jobs, he's actually like trying to get some hours during his for his training and stuff like that. So there's a lot of things that happened lately, and um, I can share some of the some of the things I cannot share for some of the things. So life lately has been great. Like it's like a transition from summer to fall, but just for this weekend because next week there's. I think there's a heat wave, but hopefully it's going to be the last week of heat wave because everyone's just so excited about fall, including me. We have a lot of things in the next few weeks that we're going to do. Some activities like apple picking or going to Montreal. Yes, I'm going to share it to you now because we're heading to Montreal and Alberta in the next few months, which I'm so excited about. And then um, life lately, right? Not planning for <laughs> the next few weeks. Anyway, so life lately, I have been working. So I'm permanently going to work 30 hours on my part-time job, which technically isn't part-time anymore. So it's going to be a full-time job. I have two full-time job so if you haven't watched the how I handled or what was the title of that again I forgot so yeah it's it's in here like you can see how I am so engaged with work how I am dedicated to each of the different jobs that I have plus YouTube exactly what I needed so YouTube is kind of like the hobby for me and then for the other two jobs I actually kind of like used to it and it's not too complicated for it's not too complicated for me for the caregiver job and then it's not too complicated for me also on the research technician job which is actually just relaxing as long as you know the flow of what you're going to do for that day you're good to go and then for the caregiver it's just all the same routine you just need to do some care and you have a lot of time for yourself and yeah it's just a nice job for me i'm so happy about it as long as you're happy with what you're doing you are good to go anyway so yeah that's been ha what happening for me lately and i had a lot of shopping which isn't really the usual me i did shop some saint laurent makeup products and and I did shop some Yes Style skincare products. And I'm so excited for my Tear Tear foundation, which is coming. I think it's going to arrive this Monday, which I'm so, so excited about. And then for Arlen, he is switching from one job to another because it's just has a lot of red flags on his previous job, which I'm so happy about that he did quit and then what else is new for both of us we had a lot of things going on like a lot of planning for the wedding and um yeah i think that's it and today i actually woke up very very gross it's currently 12 18 on the clock and I am going to have lunch. We had breakfast, a beautiful breakfast this morning. And I talked to my parents a lot this morning, which I'm so happy about because it's just like, it's been so long. Like every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, it's just tiring for me. Sometimes we talk like about 20 minutes, but during the weekends, it's just really, really the perfect time for us to talk about life, about updates or about our plans a lot of things and um, it will always take us to like two hours to like talk together so if you're like that are you Asian <laughs> so usually Asian families do that like they just talk for how many hours and just you know and then um, yeah I think that is it for the life updates so today we're heading to Toronto I'm actually getting ready Arlen's off from work like 3 p.m. and then he's going to come here and just prepare for a little bit and I'm so excited about because we are going to this restaurant named Kikos. I actually saw this one on Instagram Reels and I feel like I am so excited to like taste Filipino foods in there so we shall see about it and for also for this episode I am going to do some deep cleaning here in the apartment since we're transitioning from summer to fall and I'm going to get out all of the sweater weather you know outfits and then we're planning to like shift the bed to another side 
side because we feel like we needed to clean the the thing down below and we're gonna have a deep cleaning i'm gonna buy a swiffer's mop tonight or tomorrow yeah i think tomorrow when i get off from work and then we're actually having a plan of like getting breakfast um somewhere down here in peterborough with kirthana but i think it's canceled because i just realized that i do have work for tomorrow which is i absolutely forgot that it's tomorrow i thought it was today but then anyways um change of plans and we're gonna do a deep cleaning and i'm so excited to do some arrangements again if you've seen that what we did on canada day like we kind of shifted some furnitures sofas around our couch was moved like on the opposite side and the piano went to the opposite side we feel like we need some arrangement in the next um seasons so we feel like tomorrow is a perfect day and we can really really feel that it's cold because i opened our window and it's just cold so i think it's um 11 degrees celsius right now and tomorrow it's going to be a little colder so we shall see about it and i was very very chatty anyways let's start our day One thing I realized this week or the past weeks is that summer is a beautiful season yet I haven't fully processed why I didn't plan activities during the season as much as other people do. Camping during the weekends, doing picnic more often, barbecuing during free time, and road tripping in other provinces. Maybe because I was too focused on the upcoming autumn that we forgot to live in the moment. update i moved almost of the pillows that are still in the garbage bags when we still first moved in i cleaned a little bit in there there's still a lot of stuff in here so i was really planning to get something at least to organize all of the bags because there's a lot of bags in here I think three backpacks and one duffel bag one tote bag so i was like this is making me crazy and I moved our mirror that is very, very clean. Actually, the opposite of clean. And those two cabinets, I don't know what to do with them. I still have some of these in here, so I don't really know what to do with all this stuff, but we shall see. Or anything like that down below, because I'm definitely going to need it. Um, I love you all, and I hope. I was struggling to find the perfect outfit to go to Toronto today and finally got this one. I am going to do a wardrobe like switch tomorrow. I was actually kind of like hesitated because there's going to be a heat wave next week so I wasn't sure if I'm going to do a transition from fall to summer for from summer to fall for my wardrobe but I think the struggle today I'm gonna do it because anytime soon it's gonna be fall it's fall anyways but anytime soon it's going to be like the temperature is gonna drop and we don't want to struggle with finding an outfit hello I am so ready I was just waiting for Arlen to arrive and get dressed and go to Toronto. I, yeah, I should have done a get ready with me. I love my lashes today. Look at that. I love my lashes today because I was just trying to really, really curl it. And I knew that my lashes were really this beautiful if I only curl it or I do a lash lift something. I've done it before, but I feel like nothing's actually happening to my eyelashes. So I just, I just told myself I'm going to not pay for $50 for just a lash lift and tint. I'm just gonna do it by myself anyways. It's just the same results. It's just 
low maintenance to like do it in a salon but then I told myself it's just not doing justice I just felt not good about it so I'm just gonna do it whenever I feel like I want to but so pretty Maybe next time I'm gonna do like a get ready with me, especially when we go to Toronto. I wanted to go back to like going cafe shopping, cafe hop. I'm planning to go cafe hopping again because I saw this Toronto food culture. It has a lot of like cute cafes. I'm so excited. It's fall and it's just so excited about it. So excited. <laughs> Kaya na lang. <laughs> Hello everyone. Happy Sunday. Hello everyone, happy Sunday. I am currently uploading the Life in Canada series, which I'm so sorry if I skipped one weekend for that one because I just feel so bad with not having so much traffic in the past three episodes of Life in Canada series. And I just feel like I wanted a break because I also had this, you know, an extra shift from a part-time job. So I feel like I am so jam-packed and now I'm back actually. <laughs> anyway so today is sunday as, as what i've mentioned yesterday and based on the title we were supposed to do a lot of cleaning actually deep cleaning is failed because as far as i know there's a lot of dust in this apartment or maybe it just i'm just very oc about it so technically we're supposed to do an arrangement or rearrangement of this apartment today but then arlen went to work so i'm left here after we had lunch we also went to the grocery store went to walmart this morning because like after my chef because we bought a swifty mob yes because i feel like it's it's already very sticky here in the apartment and it's been a while and I'm just really not used to not cleaning it so i have i think three lists three checklists that i need to check or three lists that I need to check for this afternoon. I am going to do the laundry. I'm going to do mopping. And since I cannot do any arrangements, I am planning to do editing of the next episode. And I'm going to schedule it so that you guys could like, you know, see it next Sunday at 8 p.m. Exactly 8 p.m. So yeah, let's go get our laundry. And afterwards, we're going to come back for an unboxing. Uploading.
Hello everyone! So I just put my laundry on and I went downstairs. I felt very sweaty right now. The reason why I wore a sweater that is because I felt very cold a while ago and I took a shower, a beautiful warm shower, which is a very ideal, especially during this cold days. It's still summer or yeah, I think it's still really summer here because the upcoming week is going to be 20 degrees celsius which is insane and i really badly want to be in the fall season i was actually really planning with buying some decors a while ago we went to the grocery store went to lansdowne place and was really really very excited about like decorating here i was supposed to like go get some organizers from the dollar store but then i don't know because this weekend is kind of like productive but not the one that i imagined anyway so we're gonna unbox this this is the swiffer wet jet mopping kit I've been planning to have this one ever since we purchased the steamer for the sofas. But I don't know how to open this one anymore, but we shall figure it out. I'm still as clumsy as before. If you've seen my birthday vlog, you will see that I bumped the table and I was literally like skipped my heartbeat because I really thought that the glasses that Nika and Ellen gifted to me would be broken. I was literally... <gasps> My soul just separated my body. So what's in the box of the Swiffer? So you can actually buy this one any store as like Walmart or somewhere. And it is in the Swiffer.com. So this is actually good for finished wood, luxury vinyl tile and laminated tiles, which our tiles here are finished wood. We have wood tiles in the apartment and I'm so happy about it because it's the same wood tiles from back home. Anyway, so we have this one, this big one, which is, I think this is the body and it has like this. This is where we put the, this one. So we have this, this big baby, which has like this one. So this is the Swiffer wet jet. So this is where we put it in here. The last one that is in the box, which is, I think, the handle. Oops. Hello? No, it didn't take over. What the heck, love? Ending this vlog in a very stressful way. We never expected what would happen in life. I hurriedly went to Arlen after I heard what happened to him. Thankfully, it isn't that much of a damage and we don't have to pay anything for it. We have settled everything with our car insurance and the police and the other person who was involved in the collision. Thankfully, everyone is safe now. Please, everyone be safe and be careful. Oh my gosh, this is not happening gonna stop filming now i don't know how this vlog will gonna end up with but i'm gonna end this vlog here sorry